Welcome back to English class, Advanced English, third unit vocabulary. In this uh, unit, uh, today's chapter is how to learn a new word. In this lesson, lesson, you are going to learn how to learn a new word and what are the methods to learn a new word. Uh, first, pre-reading activity. Here are two signboards are there, two types of instructions. Uh, one is First one is read the following instructions given on a signboard. Use a body harness or restraining belt with lanyard attached to the boom or basket to prevent the workers from being ejected or pulled from the basket. Protect yourself from the major causes of fatalities like electrocutions, falls and tip overs. Second one, read the instructions for making bread at home. Take a cup of flour, pour a cup of water after adding a little margarine and a little sugar to the flour. Stir it while adding dry yeast. When the dough comes, uh, becomes tight and lumpy, knead the flour to make it smooth and stretchy. Shape the dough into cottage or plate or scroll as per your choice cover the shape with oiled cling film to stop it drying out and then put the tray in a warm place bake the loaf for 20 minutes here have you understood the above instructions maybe you might not understood well 100 percent because of the vocabulary most of the words you are not known. What made the above instructions so difficult to understand? The major reason is vocabulary. Most of the vocabulary you are unknown or not able to understand. So here the very important essential point is vocabulary as well as grammar both are important. Though you know the grammar, if you don't know the vocabulary, you cannot understand the paragraph or you cannot understand the speech. So third one, can you follow instructions without knowing the correct meaning of all words? No, it's not possible. Okay, if you want to make a food item, you must know the art of making it and have the appropriate ingredients. Here what it mentioned, if you want to make a food item, you need two things. One is the procedure, other one is the material. Without uh, having uh, material, you cannot do the item. Or without knowing the procedure, you cannot do the item. Similarly, you must know the grammar and use suitable words to make a sentence. To make a sentence, we should know the grammar as well as suitable words. So here I would like to mention one thing is most of the students uh, uh, fail to speak English fluently uh, because of the fear of making mistakes. First of all, you have to uh, concentrate on words and phrases. Don't try to speak uh, complete sentences. The problem comes, the mistake comes when you try to speak complete sentence, full sentence. So in the beginning stage, don't worry about the complete sentence. So try to speak word, try to speak sentence, uh, uh, phrases. Then after, finally, you try to speak complete sentence. You cannot say anything without using vocabulary. Vocabulary enhances your reading and listening comprehension and accelerates your learning. So vocabulary because of the vocabulary reading speed and listening speed enhances the richer your vocabulary is the more eloquently you will be able to communicate your ideas to people the vocabulary you know can be divided into two groups passive vocabulary and active vocabulary Passive vocabulary means the words you understand when you read or listen, but you cannot use them correctly. 
active vocabulary is the words to understand their meanings and use them appropriately in speaking and writing. In examination point of view, in one more question, the question comes like, what kind of, uh, how many kinds of vocabulary are there? Two kinds. What is passive vocabulary? Passive vocabulary means you understand the word, but you face difficulty. You cannot uh, use them uh, correctly in uh, reading and writing. Uh, that means uh, writing and speaking. Active vocabulary, what is active vocabulary? Active vocabulary is a word. You understand their meanings and use them properly in speaking and writing. Right. Here is one activity. Read the following story. The young thief and his mother. This is your part, but I will read now. A young man had been caught in a daring act of theft and had been condemned, condemned to be executed for it. He expressed his desire to see his mother and to speak with her before he was led to execution. And of course, this was granted. When his mother came to him, he said, I want to whisper to you. And when she brought her ear near him, he nearly uh, bit it off. All the bystanders were horrified and asked him what he could mean by such a brutal and inhuman conduct. It is to punish her, he said. When I was young, I began with stealing little things and brought them home to mother. Instead of rebuking and punishing me, she laughed and told me that it will not be noticed. It is because of her that I am here today. He is right, woman, said the priest. Right, now the questions. Have you understood the story? Yes, somewhat you understood. Though you don't know some words meanings, but you are able to understand it. Okay, next. Note down the words for which you know the meanings, but you cannot use them in sentences. This is your part. Suppose you know the meaning condemned, you know the meaning executed, you, may, you know the meaning, uh, suppose granted, uh, suppose bystanders, like that. You know the meaning, but you cannot use them in written and spoken English. So you have to write like, here like this. Next, note down the words for which you don't know the meanings. Suppose you don't know the meaning. Suppose you, I said here, uh, daring, theft, uh, condemned. Suppose you don't know the meaning of condemned, you know only caught, daring, act. Now, execute, executed, uh, bystanders, like that. If you don't know them, you have to write here in the second one. You don't know the meanings. Okay, right. Sometimes we understand the text even if we do not know the meanings of a few words. While reading a text, when we come across a difficult word, we guess the meaning of it. We learn several new words and phrases through context. But if we do not use them frequently, we may forget them. We have to note down such useful words and learn the various features of those words. So here what uh, the writer says, Sometimes we understand the text, we understand the story, we understand the paragraph. Though we don't know some of the words meanings. Okay, so how to tackle it? While reading the text, when we come across a difficult word, try to guess the meaning. Next, verify the dictionary. Then after that, write down the words you don't know in a notebook. Okay. And after that, you have to refer the notebook frequently. Otherwise, you forget. Right. Excellent information. So, this is very important. You get five marks, three marks, and one more question from this part. 
in examination point of view what to learn from any word exams do in examinations question comes like this what are the features we have to learn for a new word what to learn from a new word like that so locate the word you would like to learn in the dictionary and note down the following features of it right first feature first feature is spelling remember the spelling and alternative spellings of the chosen word if it has any you can learn how it is spelled in american english also some words have silent letters make a note of those silent letters here spelling means generally we follow most of the times written english british english sometimes we follow american english because both are major countries major uh, deciding uh, countries in the world in exam in job oriented and uh, study oriented okay right here disc 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 is british english disc disc is american english c o l o u r color is british english c o l o r color is american english UK means United Kingdom, US means United States. Right. Next pronunciation. Learn the phonetic spelling of a word. Know where the primary stress and secondary stress can be given. Suppose sinusure. C UK. Sinusure. US sinusure. Next syllabification. Know the word. How the word is divided into syllables? We, okay, we cannot spell the word. We cannot pronounce the words continuously. We sometimes we stress one area in the beginning. Sometimes we stress the beginning. We sometimes we stress middle. Sometimes we stress at the end. Okay, see here syllables. B e a u t i f u l. Beautiful beautiful syllables three syllables are there beautiful next word class learn the information about the word family word family means parts of speech castle here in pronunciation one more thing is silent letters sometimes we write in spelling but we cannot pronounce them k o w no k silent like that next word class c a s t l e here castle silent letter is t castle next hover verb formidable adjective next inflections inflection is the changed form of a word takes when it is used in a particular grammatical way changed form in fact inflections means changed forms example sing verb past form and past participles are sang sung next ox singular oxen plural like that next other forms of the word that means word other forms means sometimes we frame we create uh, using one word to until one one means one part of speech to other parts of speech by adding spellings suppose take the word beauty okay if you want to make it where beautify adjective beautiful adverb beautifully noun beautification like that next meanings generally in english one word may have more than one one's meaning that means maybe 100 or 1000 may be there learn the meanings of the given word in english sometimes it may have more than one meaning you can learn its meanings in your mother tongue if necessary if it is necessary you can learn the meaning also in mother tongue telugu or urdu or hindi like that suppose take the word function so first way special activity or purpose of a person or thing 
Suppose, what is the purpose of a bike? Bike purpose is riding to go from one place to other place fast. Like that. That is the function of the bike. Next, public ceremony or event. Public ceremony, that means uh, federal party function, presses function, like that, or marriages, or uh, birthday parties, like that. Next one more is mass related. Variable quantity. Function means variable quantity. Dependent in value on another, like that. Next, usage. How to use in a sentence form, like that. Learn how it is used in a phrase or a sentence. Example, prevalent, meaning common or seen everywhere, like uh, Corona. I'm shocked at the prevalence of bribery among these officials. Bribery means lonesome. Next, derivatives. A derivative is a word formed by adding an ending called suffix to a head word. In one more questions also, you see this kind of uh, words. Derivatives. Derivative means a word formed by adding an ending. That means suffix to head word. Some of the headings are able, N-E-S-S, M-E-N-T. Take the one example. Enjoy, enjoyment, happy, happiness, like that. Next, phrasal verbs. What is phrasal verb in one more question? When a verb is combined with an adverb or a preposition, it gives a new meaning. Learn the phrasal verbs to enrich your vocabulary. Suppose, go is verb, through is preposition. So, combine go means well, through and dwara. Go through is new word, completely new word. Go through means read. Okay, next, idiomatic expressions. Some words can be used in idioms. Native speakers use these idiomatic expressions naturally and consciously. Learn them to use carefully. Idiomatic expressions and what is separate meaning of Suppose, chao kabut chalaga. We should not take the meaning literally, exactly. Chao kabul chalaga ante, but zarigina nastani, zarigina yete ibandini, but nimmalango cheshi chepadan mata. Evra chao kabul chalaga yetu, inta prashanda yetu vanti. And the Pankaraman at twenty, Customer at twenty, by a pet at twenty vision and simple Gachina is a place known like that. But we should not take the literal meaning. I am a Chang Shankata Jidava and Shankata the MBBS in Malaguda only expression in front of there is crocodile festival. In front of there is crocodile festival and the Manamundi, Mosala Pandigante, crocodile story festival is there. Kal, Nikundra and I go say Yamuda. Boshet law, ne kutariga. Nik any bother and any bother with me. Illal Kagane Pandagadu. House festing is not a antarial. House festing is house festing is not feasting. Then illal Kagani Pandaka can summon them at a tisco. Okay, right. Once in a blue moon, and a Happens rarely. easy Next kind of words. You can learn whether the given words word is archaic or no longer used or colloquial or used in everyday language or formal or suitable for official uh, important occasion or taboo or indecent offensive vulgar language. Or a specialist word belongs to a specialist areas such as law, science, technology, medicine, like that. Okay. So archaic means no longer used. Because we are not using in our day-to-day -day language, present generation. Colloquial means we are using at present. Formal means official. Okay. Taboo means vulgar, offensive. 
specialist means separate one kind of area one area words example bedlam archoid asylum bedlam means uh, suppose giving shelter to uh, other countries people or uh, giving shelter to the mentally disturbed people next bamboozle colloquial mystify trick uh, cheat like that apologize formal say sorry next litigant special word for person engaged in a lawsuit next compound words a compound word is formed by adding another word to the head word suppose national is the head word national park national museum national uh, agenda like that next black <coughs> black board night night dress like that next etymology you know the history of the word root word origin you can learn how it is originated and changed throughout history learn the root word from its it meaning suppose uh, take phobia phobia means bhayam so whenever the word comes you can simply uh, guess the meaning suppose gerund and no no um, hydro hydro means water hydrophobia like that next maharaja from hindi maha means great king sanskrit maha means great like that next synonyms and antonyms learn the words having similar meanings and opposite meanings suppose barbaric synonyms of barbaric are brutal cruel inhuman uncivilized boorish antonym for barbaric is gentle civilized cultured kind nice sophisticated refined like that next collocations note down what other words are often used with it combination words collocations with uh, the word c or c plane c green c front c shore c water c weed c port c food like that like compound words like okra okay, me next so one mark three marks five marks questions comes all these kind of questions come from this year part okay right next activity 2 use a dictionary and note down all the above features of the given words here elucidate distinguish passive munificent extravagant are there you have to open the dictionary and identify the word and write collocations synonyms meanings etymology compound word kind words idiomatic expressions phrasal verbs derivatives usage meanings other forms of the word inflections word class syllabification pronunciation spelling all these features you have to write for these words okay in order to communicate your ideas and thoughts properly to others you have to pronounce the words properly pronunciation is very important if you do not pronounce the word properly others do not understand it learn phonetic symbols ante manaki ipudu suppose manaki bithri sath ani okaru untadu entha mundu vcs lo undi ipudu tv9 lo ostunna atanu koni words ni డిఫరెంట్ గా ప్రొనౌన్స్ చేస్తాడు తెలుగు బోర్డ్ కావచ్చు ఇంగ్లీష్ బోర్డ్స్ అయినా కావచ్చు డిఫరెంట్ గా ప్రొనౌన్స్ చేస్తాడు అప్పుడు సమ్టైమ్స్ వీ కెనాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ అవి మనకి ఏందో అర్థం కాదు చాలా కష్టం అవుతుంది అంటే అతను అంటే ఫన్ ఓరియంటెడ్ గా ఫన్ క్రియేట్ చేయడం కోసం అలా వాడుతున్నాడు కానీ మీరు కూడా బిత్తి సత్తి లాగా మాట్లాడారు అనుకోండి ఇది మనకి అర్థం కాదు సో డోంట్ ట్రై టు యూజ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ you own pronunciation own ga create cheyadam itlanti cheyakandi okay learn phonetic symbols and practice the correct pronunciation of the words learn to listen to others when you come across a difficult word read it aloud several times and check your pronunciation so eppudaina meeku kotta word ganaka kanipisthe danni chadavandi 
గట్టిగా బైక్ బిగ్గరగా సెవరల్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ చెక్ యువర్ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ ఆ ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ సూట్ అవుతుందా ఆ ఇచ్చిన ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ కి మేడ్ పలికే ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ సూట్ అవుతుందా చెక్ చేసుకో సో హియర్ ఈస్ వన్ యాక్టివిటీ ప్రొనౌన్స్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వర్డ్స్ లైక్ ఆర్ఈఎన్డిఈజెడ్ఓఎస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ రాంది పెడితే మీటింగ్ స్కెడ్యూల్డ్ మీటింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎటి వాట్ యూ కాల్ ఇట్ ఈటీఐ క్యూయుఈటి ఎటికేట్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్యూన్ కరిజ్మా ఎస్యుఐటి స్వీట్ జిఎన్ఏడబ్ల్యూ నా ఏఐఎస్ఎల్ఈ ఎయిల్ డిఈబియూటి డెబ్యూ పిఐజెడ్ఏ పిట్జా పిట్జా లాటిన్ వర్డ్ డిఈబిఆర్ఐఎస్ డెబ్రీ లైక్ దట్ నో యూజ్ ఎ డిక్షనరీ అండ్ చెక్ వెదర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ప్రొనౌన్స్ డెమ్ కరెక్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ యాక్టివిటీ యూజ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ సఫిక్సెస్ అండ్ మేక్ యాజ్ మెనీ డెరివేటివ్స్ యాజ్ పాసిబుల్ యూజింగ్ ద వర్డ్స్ గివెన్ బిలో డెరివేటివ్స్ అంటే ఏదో చూసాం వాట్ ఈస్ డెరివేటివ్ అంటే యాడింగ్ ద సఫిక్సెస్ టు ఏ హెడ్ వర్డ్ హెడ్ వర్డ్ కి సఫిక్స్ ని యాడ్ చేయడం అంటే సఫిక్స్ అంటే రైట్ సైడ్ యాడ్ చేయడం ఓకే ఎంఈఎన్టి ఏబిఎల్ఇ ఏఎన్సిఇ ఎల్వై సిఎల్ సిఎల్ఎల్వై సివై ఐఓఎన్ ఐవిఇ ఐఎస్టి ఐఎస్హెచ్ ఐఏఎల్ఎల్వై ఐటివై ఐఏఎన్ ఏఆర్వై లైక్ దట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏడిడిఐసిటి ఎడిక్ట్ క్రియేట్ ద వర్డ్స్ డెరివేటివ్స్ addictable addiction any words difference differentiation different differently next biology biological biologically biologist is is there na no? uh, biologist like that idiom consistent logic parliament scientific next identify use the following words in your own sentences own sentence you have to frame sentence splendid tolerate fortunate gaze ideal translate voyage compassion suppose splendid means beautiful the castle is very splendid like that next jargon very important one more question jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context jargon is a type of language that is used in a particular context special context and may not be well understood outside the context if you want to if you want to uh, try to understand the meaning individual single word you cannot understand it learn the words related to your uh, field to understand the context well fact is learning words related to a particular item or place to improve your vocabulary suppose the court is adjourned adjourned ante adi vallaki legally unna vallaki matre telusu overruled the court is over, overruled overruled means ante permitted sustained ila separate particular context lo matre vaddu these are called jargon next i to write as many words as possible using the keyword cinema in 60 seconds 60 seconds lo cinema ane word ki sambandhi related words anni ra suppose cinema cinema theater cinema poster cinema teaser cinema songs cinema actor cinema hero cinema heroine like that వీలైనన్ని రాయాలి చెప్పాలి కౌంట్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ యూ హావ్ రిటర్న్ అండ్ రైట్ ద నెంబర్ ఇన్ ద స్పేస్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ బిలో హియర్ ఆఫ్టర్ రైటింగ్ టోటల్ కౌంట్ దెమ్ అండ్ రైట్ ద నెంబర్ టోటల్ నెంబర్ 
you can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing you can improve your vocabulary by learning the words related to a particular place or a thing prepare the words list related to them suppose uh, you know you like cricket then prepare the list vocabulary list related to cricket right as many words as possible related to the following keywords cricket i don't know cricket much so you can write like cricket kitchen vegetables card mobile phone ship like that okay next here is one five marks and three marks questions come from this part tips ah give some tips or give some suggestions to improve vocabulary how to improve vocabulary this is one question prepare the vocabulary list you have learned to learn prepare sticky notes which serve as reminders vocabulary can't be learned in isolation if you just note down difficult words and learn their meanings you may not remember them for a long time when you learn a word use it in writing or conversation use new words in conversations the best way to improve your vocabulary is through reading or listening learn the roots of the words learn the meanings of the affixes and use them you can guess the meanings of the word of a word if you know the meaning of affixes suppose poly poly is many polytechnic polygamy polyclinic like that anti means before anti meridian anti clock anti hero like that anti against don't try to remember words alone learn through context visualize new words associate the words with the mental images learn a new word a day use online dictionaries carry a pocket dictionary keep a dictionary and thesaurus handy make flash cards each flash card will have one english word written on the front and the words the translation or definition on the back use them while traveling learn other words of the same class or group play games like scrabble boggle etc to enrich your vocabulary take vocabulary quizzes crossword puzzles read newspapers journals in english don't repeat the words while speaking or writing learn the latest words and expressions like that next assignment read today's newspaper english newspaper and note down the difficult words learn those words and use them in sentences that is for today for this lesson i hope you understood well please repeat it once again listen it once again complete the assignments and activities write in notebook fair notebook and prepare well for the examination still if you have any doubts you can ask me in live class all the best bye